It means it's time for a little Lights, Camera McCarthy. Kevin back on the road this morning. He's joining yeah. us live from the Big Apple. Hey, Kevin. Hey, good morning to you. Uh, yeah, I'm in New York City uh, this morning to speak to Gordon Ramsay. Uh, obviously, he has uh, amazing shows right here on Fox, and we're going to have a sit-down, one-on-one interview with him for that coming up uh, soon. But I'm here in New York, as I mentioned, to interview Gordon Ramsay. Uh, and going back to what you were saying about the box office, remember, I mean, as I, I've been saying this for a while now, the movies really are back. Top Gun Maverick kind of really ignited that passion for movie-going experiences again. And if you missed my interviews with Chris Pratt for Mario or Guardians, we had him on Good Day DC for both of those films. You can go to Fox 5 DC. I spoke to him for both movies. Um, but speaking of big stars, uh, Sylvester Stallone is coming to streaming on Paramount Plus with the family Stallone. This uh, show premieres on May 17th. That if you're a fan of Sylvester Stallone, you know his action films. But this is all about his family, his incredible wife, Jennifer, as well as his three beautiful daughters. Uh, and I had the chance to speak to all five of them uh, over Zoom, which I was a little nervous about doing five people over Zoom. Uh, but they were all incredible to to talk to. And one of the really interesting things about the coincidental element of this is growing up, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sly Stallone were like my two heroes. They were my action star heroes. Um, and I was speaking to Stallone on one day and then Arnold the next day. So in a 24 hour period, I was interviewing two of my childhood heroes. Uh, so I did ask Sylvester Stallone for a little message for Arnold. Now, the message you're going to hear might not make a lot of sense, but when you hear Arnold's response later this week when I air that interview, it will make so much sense because Arnold went off and told this hilarious story about both of them. So uh, here is my interview first with the Stallone family for the family Stallone, plus his message for Arnold and some great messages for families. Take a look. Before I start, Sly, I have to tell you this. Um, I grew up on your movies. My time period for you was Demolition Man and Cliffhanger and all those films. But you and Arnold were my heroes growing up as a kid. And weirdly coincidental, I'm talking to you right now, and then I'm interviewing Arnold tomorrow for his TV show. And because I'm doing that, I was wondering, is there any message I could bring to him from you or a funny question that I could show him tomorrow when I, when I talk to him? Well, tell him if I don't get my machine gun back, I'm going to kidnap his donkey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 39, and, I, and I'm not a parent, um, but I would imagine that becoming a parent changes the, everything in your life, especially how you do your job. And, and Sly and Jennifer, for you, from an acting perspective, Sly, how did it change your perspective and the way you were able to emote as an actor when you became a father? And for Jennifer, for you as a businesswoman and an entrepreneur, how did it affect the way you did your work when you became a parent for the first time? I'll go to you, Sly, first. Well, if you kind of adhere to the method and you try to use transference, in other words, if I'm doing a scene with my movie daughter, I replace it with my real daughter, that just emotion. So I see her, but I'm thinking of them. Then you kick into something very emotional because I just pretend I'm talking to them. And it, it's very effective, very strong. It was really hard. My, my, my first and favorite job in the whole world is being a mother. And so it, it was hard for me to be because I had to leave um, every single month for about five days. It was hard for me to leave the family for five days. So working for was... For 25 years. For 25 years of being on TV, it was very difficult to run a business and be a full-time mom. But I managed to do that pretty well because I think I raised mm -hmm. three really beautiful, smart, you know, kind women, hardworking women. So I, sh I showed them both sides, that you can work and you can be a great parent as well. So... We have the best role models. Yeah. You're, you're sitting across from your parents right now uh, who have given you so much. And obviously, there's just how you just explained that, Jennifer, in terms of like what you did in order to raise your children and kind of give them the life that they want. But all three of you have your own lives and you're all incredible in your own in your own ways as well, outside of just being a Stallone. You, know, you have your own lives and your own personalities and what you do. Um, and I wanted to ask each of you, if you could go down the line, uh, what is the one thing that you would thank your parents for that uh, that is that is special to you? And I know there's a, a ton of things that you could thank them for, but if there's one thing in your heart that you go, I just want to say thank you for giving me this in my life, what would it be? Ooh, I I'm think, sorry. you want to say? Uh, you know. else? Okay. <laughs> um, I would probably say anytime I had a dream, an idea, an ambition, whether it was 
so small and stupid or way out of my wheelhouse, they never pushed it down. And they always motivated me to go for it and do it. And they never like dimmed my light, which always meant a lot. Oh, thank you. Honesty. I think that, you know, with some parenting, like they would like to kind of beat around the bush a little bit, but I liked hearing the hardcore truth and growing up with such honest parents and it drove me to be better. And like, like what Sistine said too, always go for it. Like, just go. I mean, they've pushed us no matter what. They've get, given us the opportunities to be, you know, if you want to be in the business side, if you want to be in the uh, creative side, like they've opened up like such a whirlwind of ideas for us. And I think I'm very thankful for that. That's great. Love that. Um, Thank you. I think for me, it's just like overall, we can all agree on this, is that no matter what happens in our life, if we're at our lowest point, I know that these two will be right by my side. Mm -hmm. Like they are the most loyal, loving, rock parents you can ever have. And I'm so lucky because I know that a lot of parents, you know, it can get really tough at some points and you never know if they're gonna stay or go, but these two <laughs> will <laughs> never leave. All right, that is uh, the family Stallone. Uh, Sylvester Stallone, his wife Jennifer, and uh, his incredible family. We're gonna have uh, more from the interview on fox5dc.com. We'll be back in studio with you guys tomorrow. Uh, we'll continue our week with some big celebrities. Last week we had Jennifer Lopez and Michael J. Fox. So stay tuned to Good Day for all the biggest names and celebrities in the DC area. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in studio. Seems like a great family. Yeah, That's right? It, yeah, I mean, yeah, dare yeah. I say it, see, they seem somewhat yeah. normal. Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, how can you say that? But, I mean, I and, know they're not, and, but they are. And wait till you hear Arnold's response to that comment. I mean, it might not make sense now, but I to talk to him and Arnold in this in a 24-hour period was yeah. absolutely insane. All right, looking yeah. forward to it. Yeah. Thanks, Kev. Thank you. Steve